Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 22nd of September 2024. I hope you are keeping well. I've just come in from uh, grocery shopping in the supermarket. The cat is meowing. He was hiding all morning because he knows it's his day for the hospital. He doesn't know when his appointment time is though. He's still got a few hours yet so <laughs> he's come out of hiding much too early. Uh, anyway, that's the cat's business. Um, I've just had uh, a Danish pastry, I guess it is. I guess you'd call it with uh, um, kiwi fruit, strawberries, blueberries, and peaches on the top. When you don't eat, eat such kind of food very often, I mean, for me, it's once in a blue moon. It really is good. <laughs> I think, it, you know, you get that extra uh, savoriness that only uh, denial can, can give you. Um, if you don't, if you don't eat that kind of food very often because you are not allowed it uh, on, on a regular basis, it tastes so much better when you do eat it. Uh, and we must never deny ourselves anything completely forever, unless you're a drug addict or something, you know, <laughs> don't take any drugs but <laughs> that you're addicted to. But um, yeah, I've just uh, had that and a coffee and that's really put me in a good mood. So I should be attacking the Los Angeles Times expert level um, Sudoku puzzle in just a moment. Um, speaking of patisserie, uh, one place that's fa famous for that is Austria. They're always famous for having good cakes and stuff. I went to Austria when I was a kid. I don't actually remember the cakes. I was uh, I was quite young, um, and uh, I do remember how beautiful it was. Though uh, there are not many places in the world where you see a postcard and you think when you see the actual place you think. The, the, the postcard doesn't do it justice and you've seen beautiful postcards of Austria the Austrian mountains in the Alps and you've thought to yourself it can't be that beautiful it is it really, really or well, certainly it was in the 1970s that's a long time ago but I'm presuming it hasn't changed that much um, yeah it really was a beautiful place uh, I mentioned Austria because uh, not all parts of it are beautiful at the moment certain parts of it are underwater and suffering from climate change uh, problems uh, flooding etc um, flooded rivers bursting their banks and twice as much rain in September as as they are used to in certain areas nowhere is immune from climate change unfortunately uh, we'd like to dip our heads in put our heads in the sand and try to ignore it but we can't uh, we have to keep at it keep battling away keep fighting and understanding uh, we have to do something about climate change, otherwise beautiful Austria will not be beautiful everywhere, as it certainly has been at some points in time. I have no idea. By the way, <laughs> we weren't part of the Von Trapp family or anything like that, but we did. I went with my aunt, uncle, cousins, and uh, we. Uh, it, this is the days before video cameras, but my uncle had a cine camera, you know, 8mm cine camera, silent film, and we did go running up the mountains to imitate the sound of music, which was popular at the time, so I guess that's, I think that that film came out in 68, 69 or something like that, I, I guess, so, uh, or, so early 1970s, it was still a popular thing. Oh, fond memories, fond memories for old men like me. Right, shall we get on with the game? Stop my reminiscing. Of holidays in the past uh, I saw a couple of things uh, let me tell you what I can see I see the fives blocking like this so immediately we get five in that square there I saw something else I'm sure I did but I've lost it there's at least one more thing here that I, I've seen oh here we go four across here across there it's gonna give me a four in that square What I've seen is 2 and 8 blocking down here and 2 and 8 blocking, sorry, across here and down here. So I do know that we've got a pair of 2 and 8 in those squares. If that means anything, I, I'm not sure, but it is a pair of 2 and 8. And so these squares do not contain 2 or 8. They must be 1, 4. So we know the 4s are here and 4s will be up there. Should we look at the 4s for a minute? Let's just see in case we see anything. Uh, uh, maybe not. Uh, where was I? Two and eight in those squares. So I have one, four, and nine. Oh, okay, we got the nine blocking down there, so we'll get our nine 
there and this is 2 and 8 so we know this is 1 and 4 these squares cannot contain 1 or 4 they have to be 6 and 7 and no idea which is which just yet but anyway 6 and 7 there up here, 9 down there, there's a 9. So 6, 7, 8 in these squares, obviously the 8 blocks down there. Ah, good. So then the 8 is in one of those two squares, so this can't be 8, that has to be 8, and this has to be 2. Missing numbers up here, 2 and 4. Ah, this was the other thing I saw at the beginning. I said I saw something else. It was this, the ones blocking like that. There we are. Uh, so now we've got one blocking this square, this square, and this square. So in this row, there's our digit one. Okay, let's wander around. So we know threes have to be in these squares. Somewhere up there. Uh, we've put five into one of these two squares here and fives are there. Okay, I've been around the grid and I, I, I can't find my baby. Uh, what do we know? Nines are there and there. This, this block here, we have quite a few things going on here.
Hmm. Might be a tough puzzle. I think I've got two, three, six along the bottom here, haven't I? Two, three, six blocking across there. Six blocking here, two and three blocking that square. Yeah, we've got two, three and six along the bottom. Okay, right, come on now. What does that mean? Uh, it means two, three and six along the bottom and doesn't help because the two's already sorted out there. Sixes I already know are there and the threes are already placed so I don't know how that helps. Two, three, six. Okay, let's see what's not two, three, or six. Um, so four, five, seven, nine. So sevens now have to be in those squares. Let's see, sevens in those squares there. Does that do anything? Uh, I did say fives are limited to those. Uh, hold on a second. Where are those sevens? sevens are, sevens are there. Fives are there. Nine. Hang on. Nine. I think could be some. Could be something. Uh, this is two, three. What am I saying? Two, three, six along here. So nine. Yes. Uh, nine blocks those two squares there. This nine blocks this square here, I'm trying to say. And nine blocks this square here, so that has to be a nine there. Okay, so now five has to be in this square, doesn't it? Because, I'll prove it to you, we've got five uh, blocking across here, five blocking here, five blocking there, and five blocking there. So in this column, there's our five. Now, we know this is two, three, and six. So this has to be four and seven. Four blocking down there, there's the four, there's the seven. Four blocks that way, there's our four. Missing digit here is one. <coughs> one across here, one down there and one down there. There's our digit one. Now we know this is two, three and six. So this has to be seven and nine. Seven blocks down there. There's the seven and the nine is in that square there. Nine blocking up, nine blocking down. Here's our nine. Nine across here, nine across there, nine down there. There's a nine. That's the final digit nine. Okay, some movement definitely got somewhere. I was stuck for quite a long time there, but budged it a little bit. Uh, what's missing from here? We're looking for eight. We're looking for five. Five blocks down there. There's the five. There's the eight. Last numbers to go in here are going to be six and four. Four blocks down there. There's the four. There's the six. Up here we're looking for two, three, eight, I think, and not much joy. These numbers cannot be two, three, or eight. They have to be seven is one of them. So seven across there. Here's going to be our seven. Uh, two, three, eight. So this has to be uh, four and six. So we've got the four blocking up here. There's the four. That's going to be a six. Six blocks down here and six across there gives me a six in that square. <coughs> Last number to place here. Three, I think. Uh, 
and here we're looking for two and something two across there there's the two the something is an eight eight across here eight down there that gives me an eight in that square six across here gives me the six there the missing number here is seven seven blocking up and up there we go with the seven that's not the last seven why not we've got seven like this to still do that is the last seven one more digit to fill in here that looks to be a three to me does it to you i'm glad you agree uh one more number to go here is that a two? no it's not a two is it a five yes it is a five five blocking up here up here across and across there there's a five uh and that's the last five five seven nine are done shall we go through the numbers that we still have to do oh no let's see what's here first two and eight eight blocking up there there's the eight there's the two two and nine oh no it's not two and nine i thought it was a two three nine it's not it's two three six isn't it oh that's okay three and six blocking down here three and six in those squares that has to be a two so now we've got two blocking this square two blocking this square two blocking this square in that row there's our two missing numbers up here three and eight can't do those just yet um that's a three six isn't it okay three and six block this square that puts three and six into those squares and leaves enough room for a four four blocking across here across there and up there gives a four in that square the last number to place here is two i'm gonna say two across here up and hop there we go with the two uh right still to be done one can we can we we can one up here one up here one across there there's our one one across here and there goodbye digit one goodbye mr chips we are looking for three six and eight only eights can we eight a block across here eight up there there's our eight eight across there there's our eight we're looking for three and six only here's a three three blocks across here give me a three three blocks back that way there's a three three down to the bottom there's a three six is the last number to fill in a few empty blank squares and the puzzle is done that's our los angeles expert level puzzle over for a sunday not much of a challenge also new york times today not too difficult so uh, an easy weekend i think or an easy sunday i should say take care bye bye